హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు కల్పవృక్ష క్లాసెస్ ఐ హ్యావ్ చూసన్ దిస్ మెథమెటిక్స్ ప్రాక్టీస్ పేపర్ టూ జనవరి టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ టూ అండ్ దిస్ క్వశ్చన్ పేపర్ ఈజ్ డిజైన్ ఫ్రమ్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ పబ్లిక్ ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్స్ తుమ్కూర్ సౌత్ ఆల్ రైట్ సో ఆల్రెడీ ద ఎంసీక్యూస్ వన్ మార్క్ క్వశ్చన్ అండ్ టూ మార్క్ క్వశ్చన్ ఇట్స్ గోయింగ్ ఆన్ టూ మార్క్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఇస్ గోయింగ్ ఆన్ సో ఆల్ దీస్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ఫైవ్ క్వశ్చన్ పేపర్స్ ఆర్ కంప్లీటెడ్ all right as i am announcing in each and every video i mean five question papers is the target from five question papers i will be solving all the mcqs one mark two mark three mark and four mark questions from the mathematics question paper all right so we have reached at the two marks and already i have solved three question papers another two question papers are remaining and among them this is the fourth one all right so let us see some of the questions and uh, let us try to understand solving these question papers is a uh, very very important because you will get to know what is the nature of the questions all right then so uh, let us look at this uh, third main answer the following questions eight questions each of two marks total that is 16 marks 17 question goes like this find the sum of first 24 terms of an ap 5 comma 8 comma 11 comma 14 dot 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 up to 24 terms okay uh, they are asking 24 terms right sum of 24 terms so what is the given ap the given ap is a 5 comma 8 comma 11 comma 14 and dot 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 this is a given ap and what is the first term of this ap a is 5 and what is the common difference common difference is 8 minus 5 that is 3 and they are asking for a sum of 24 terms so that means n is equal to 24 all right so now uh, sn is equal to what is the formula sn is equal to n by 2 bracket 2a plus n minus 1 into d so this is the formula and we want uh, the sum of how many terms we want the sum of uh, 24 terms so what it becomes it becomes s24 is equal to 24 divided by 2 bracket 2a 2 into a is 5 plus n minus 1 into d what is n n is 24 24 minus 1 into d is going to be 3 all right so let me put a line here so s24 is equal to what it becomes it becomes 2 ones are 2 12s are 12 remains here and bracket 2 into 5 is 10 plus and 24 minus 1 is 23 into 3 all right so it becomes 12 bracket 10 plus then 23 threes are 3 threes are 9 and 3 twos are 6 all right so 12 bracket and it becomes 79 all right so what is the value of 12 nines are 12 nines are it is 108 and 10 is a carry then 12 sevens are 12 sevens are it is uh, 84 all right so 84 plus uh, 10 is uh, 94 all right so sum of 24 terms uh, it is going to be 948 this is this was formula based question and you have seen in the previous three question papers this question is compulsory that means you have to be practicing this all right moving forward to the 18th question which term of the ap 3 comma 15 comma 27 comma 39 dot 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 is 132 more than its 54th term all right fine then so uh, let us solve this what is the given ap the given ap is i mean 3 comma 15 comma 27 comma 39 dot 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 and from this you can write a is equal to 3 and d is going to be 15 minus 3 15 minus 3 is 12 and they are asking i mean which term is 132 more than 54th term that means let me call that as a n so this a n should be nth term should be 132 more than 54th term this is what they are saying so 132 more than 54th term is a n and we need to find out what is the value of n all right fine then so if you substitute here so a n means what a plus n minus 1 into d and that is equal to a 54 a 54 means a plus 53 d plus 132 all right so afterwards what is the value of a 3 plus n minus 1 into d d the value of d is 12 and that is equal to again a is 3 otherwise you would have cancelled a no problem a is 3 plus 
53 into d what is the value of d again it is 12 plus 132 all right so here what you can do here uh, look at this this 3 and 3 it can be cancelled because they are same things if you bring this side it becomes minus so instead of that you can cancel here only n into 12 is 12 n then minus 1 into 12 is a minus 12 and that is equal to you can multiply these two things 12 3 is a 36 3 is the carry then 12 5 is a 60 60 plus 3 63 all right plus 132 then afterwards we are going to have it as a i mean uh, 12 uh, 12 n minus 12 or you can take it as 12 bracket n minus 1 also look at this 12 into n 12 n 12 into 1 is 12 all right so that is equal to um, what is the value we are going to get here 6 plus 2 8 then 3 plus 3 6 and uh, 6 plus 1 is 7 all right so afterwards we'll have n minus 1 is equal to 768 let me confirm one more time okay all right everything is fine then divided by 12 so 12 ones are 12 six are 12 six are 72 then 4 is the carry then 12 fours are all right so uh, n minus 1 is equal to 64 then afterwards n is equal to 64 plus 1 so we are going to get the value of n as 65 that means so what we are going to write therefore 65th term 65th term is how much more 132 more 132 more than more than 54th term more than 54th term all right i hope the concept is quite clear to you and you have understood it now uh, option question is like this in an ap if the first term is 10 and the common difference is also 10 i mean a common difference is 10 find the first four terms of ap see look at this this is quite a simple question if questions are asked like this in the options uh, choose a easy question all right anyway i am solving both the questions to save your time you can choose this easy question so first term is also 10 and common difference is also 10 they are asking first four terms all right so let us do that so option question so what is the given data given data is uh, a is equal to 10 and d is also equal to 10 so what is the first term first term a1 is nothing but a only and that is equal to 10 over and how about second term second term is nothing but a plus d a plus d is nothing but 10 plus 10 and that is equal to 20 how about a3 a3 is nothing but a to second term plus common difference so what is the second term second term is 20 and common difference is 10 that's why 30 all right how about the fourth term fourth term is nothing but a third term plus a common difference it becomes 30 plus 10 and that is equal to 40 therefore starting four terms they are asking only four terms right look at this they are mentioning what they are mentioning they are mentioning find the first four terms of ap so therefore starting four terms four terms of apr apr 10 comma 20 comma 30 and 40 all right fine then moving forward to the next question a vertical pole of length 6 meter casts a shadow 4 meter long on the ground all right so there is a vertical pole like this there is a vertical pole so uh, this is having a height of 6 meter let us call it as ab all right and it is going to cast a shadow 4 meter long on the ground i mean here will be the shadow like this all right so let me name it as c and here it is 4 meter and definitely this should be 90 degree and you can uh, join this bc here all right then afterwards what they are saying at the same time this is very very important at the same time a tar casts a shadow 28 meter long so we don't know what is a tar i mean there is a tar like this uh, let us name it as de and it is going to cast a shadow of 28 meter long so let us call it as a f and here it is okay this is also 90 degree so this is 28 meter now they are asking find height of the tar so this star is there no so this is the tar okay and here it is the pole they are asking uh, i mean uh, what is the height of this star okay de is equal to question mark 
DE is equal to question mark. How to do it? I mean, it's uh, quite a simple thing. Now look at this. This is 90 degree. This is 90 degree. At the same time, they are mentioning means the sun's uh, the rays of sun must be falling on the same angle. No, look at this. Uh, this angle and this angle they must be same. Look at this. If this is x means even this has to be x. All right. Are you understanding my point? So that's why this is 90. This is 90. This is X. This is X means by AA similarity by AA similarity. These uh, triangles are going to be similar to each other. All right. Are you understanding my point? So I will write here in triangle in triangle ABC and triangle DEF. All right. So what I will write angle A is equal to angle D is equal to 90 degree and afterwards angle B is equal to then another one is angle E is equal to X. All right. So I'll write therefore by AA similarity by AA similarity we are going to have triangle ABC similar to triangle DEF ABC similar to DEF. Therefore, by ratio, what can I write? Definitely, we can write AB divided by DE. AB divided by DE is equal to AC divided by DF. We can write that. AC divided by DF. Alright. So, what is the value of AB? The value of AB is going to be 6 divided by what is the value of DE? We don't know. That's what the tower is all about then divided by what is AC look at this AC that is 4 how about DF that is 28 so it becomes 4 divided by 28 all right so we want DE now so DE is equal to let us send the DE this side and it becomes 6 into 28 divided by 4 all right DE I am sending this side 4 by 28 becomes 28 by 4 4 ones are 4 sevens are then we are going to have DE is equal to 6 sevens are 42 is it meter or centimeter yes it is there in meter so that's why it is going to be meter so we'll write therefore height of the tower height of the tower is equal to 42 meter i hope the question is quite clear moving forward to the next question solve x plus y is equal to 14 comma x minus y is equal to 2 so uh, you can do it by elimination method so x plus y is equal to 14 equation number 1 and another equation is x minus y is equal to 2 let me call it as equation number 2 it is not necessary that you have to do it through elimination method only you can do it through other method also no problem so plus y minus y they get cancelled x plus x it becomes 2x and that is equal to 14 plus 2 is 16 then x is equal to 16 by 2 so 2 ones are 2 eights are the value of x is going to be 8 so let me call it as equation number 3 all right now we want the value of y right so we are going to put this uh, equation number 3 in equation number 1 so what is equation number 1 that is x plus y is equal to 14 right x is 8 8 plus y is equal to 14 and y is equal to 14 minus 8 and y is equal to 6 quite a simple thing all right dear children once again i am reminding you just see all these question papers you will get to know that all these question papers have same kinds of question with only numerical value changed all right fine moving forward to the next question draw two tangents to a circle of radius 3.5 centimeter from an external point which is 7 centimeter away from its center Alright, so uh, as I got to know, there is a circle of radius 3.5 cm. For example, this is a circle of radius 3.5 cm and here is the center. Let us take it as O. Alright, so you have to uh, draw a uh, draw two tangents to a circle of radius 3.5 cm from an external point which is three, 7 cm away from its center. Look at this from here to here already 3.5 is there. You take another 3.5. So here is the point, I mean at 7 cm means the point will be coming here. Let us take the point here, approximately I am taking. So this is 3.5 and this is another 3.5. So total from the center, this point is at a distance of 7 cm. Let us name it as P. Alright, so let me join it through a line segment like this. I mean uh, here is the line segment. 
okay so let me name it as p now how to draw the tangents you know that so uh, first of all you have to bisect this op you have to take the compass and you have to take more than half you know how to bisect right all right so everybody knows how to bisect it okay so it is 7 centimeter now it is 7 centimeter means bisection will be here only now 3.5 so you can do that otherwise directly you can name this point as o dash also if you want look at this so from here to here 3.5 here to here 3.5 that means this is a midpoint there is no need to bisect also so you can name it as o dash now you have to keep the needle here so you have to keep your needle here at this point okay then my, by making o dash p as the radius you have to draw another circle like this look at this another circle you have to draw all right so this is the circle what we have got then afterwards uh, it is going to intersect the existing circle at these two points look at this uh, here is one point let me name it as a and here is another point look at this let me name it as b then afterwards i am going to join this uh, pa this is uh, one line all right so it came i mean you uh, do it uh, properly with the help of scale you'll get it so then afterwards uh, you name this as pb all right so here is a uh, one more thing pb so look at this pb so here here it is i mean uh, i know uh, we have some troubles here but uh, uh, whenever you are doing it in the book no so it will be proper all right so here is the point p and we have got these two tangents so you write here pa and pb so whatever pa and pb are there no so these are called as tangents that's it all right make it sure that you are doing it uh, uh, i mean carefully with the help of scale and compass all right fine then moving forward to the next question what is this next question construct a pair of tangents to a circle of radius 4 cm which are inclined to each other at an angle of 70 degree i mean there is a circle of radius 4 cm that must be known to you all right you can easily draw that circle so here is the circle of radius 4 cm for example all right so let us take this as the midpoint so here is the midpoint let us take it as o so this is having radius 4 cm and you have to draw the tangents which are inclined to each other at an angle of 70 degree if angle between the tangents is 70 degree means what is the angle at the center so it has to be 110 degree so what you do you draw one radius here let us name this as a and by using the protractor you construct an angle which is 110 degree look at this i mean this angle it should be 110 degree and you do it with the help of a a protractor no issue so let me call this point as a b all right so this angle is how much is this this angle is 110 degree why it is 110 degree because the tangents will be at an angle of 70 degree means here they will be at 70 degree and it has to be 110 degree now what to do now you have to draw a 90 degree here how to draw now you take this point you keep the needle here and you construct one arc here like this all right by taking again needle here you have to keep the needle here so you have to cut 60 degree and 60 degree so it becomes 120 and uh, again you cut here and you cut here so it becomes how much 90 degree because the tangent will be perpendicular to the radius all right you similarly do it here also i mean keep the needle here and draw an arc like this all right again with the same arc you cut here 60 degree and you cut here an, uh, 120 degree and again uh, if you bisect it it will be 90 degree all right so you got this no now you extend this now you extend this also all right now they are going to meet at one point here so let us name it as a point p and definitely this angle is going to be uh, 70 degree because it is 110 degree right so it is 110 degree and this two, this is 90 and this is also 90 180 together so these have to be i mean 180 no so that's why this is 70 and this is 110 quite a simple thing try it okay try it with the help of a compass and scale so that you get your two marks all right moving forward to the next question here it is solved by using the formula x square minus 7x plus 11 is equal to 0 all right so let us write the equation that is x square minus 7x plus 11 is equal to 0 you have to compare it with ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 all right so what is the value of a a is going to be 1 what is the value of b minus 7 what is the value of c 11 
all right so you write the formula x is equal to what is the formula minus b plus or minus under root b square minus 4 ac divided by 2a so this is a formula let us substitute now so it is uh, x is equal to minus b means it becomes minus of minus 7 plus or minus uh, under root b square b square means minus 7 whole square minus 4 ac 4 into a is 1 and c is 11 then divided by 2a 2 into 1 all right so minus of minus 7 is plus 7 7 plus or minus all right under root minus 7 whole square is 49 and 4 into 11 is 44 then divided by 2 into 1 is 2 then we'll have 7 plus or minus under root 49 minus 44 is a 5 then divided by 2 all right so we are going to have the value of x as 7 plus root 5 divided by 2 so this is first thing all right and the second solution is uh, or x is equal to 7 minus uh, root 5 divided by 2 so this is the second solution all right i hope it is clear now coming to the next question what is that next question solve by factorization method there was some mistake here that's why i have changed it uh, x square minus 7x plus 12 is equal to 0. Factorization method we have to use. x square minus 7x plus 12 equal to 0. Alright, so let me solve that. So, x square minus 7x plus 12 is equal to 0. So, how to do by factorization method you know. So, coefficient of x square is 1 and co uh, constant term is 12. So, we are going to get the product 12. So, what are the factors? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. You have to choose two numbers among these whose sum is a minus 7 and whose product is 12. Which are they? Don't you think they are going to be minus 3 and minus 4? Minus 3 minus 4 is going to be minus 7 and minus 3 into minus 4 is going to be 12. Alright. So, let us write that x square minus 3x minus 4x plus 12 is equal to 0. Alright, so from the starting two terms, you can take x common, then it becomes x minus 3. Similarly, you can write here x minus 3 and you can adjust. Minus 4x is there, here only x is there, that's why I write minus 4. Minus 4 into x is minus 4x. Minus 4 into minus 3 is plus 12 and that is equal to 0. And afterwards, you can write it as x minus 4 into x minus 3, which is equal to 0. So, uh, you can write x minus 4 is equal to 0 or x minus 3 is equal to 0 so we are going to the uh, we are going to get the value of x as 4 or another value of x is going to be 3 4 or 3 all right fine then moving forward to the next question find the distance between the points 8 comma minus 3 and 0 comma 9 by using the distance formula all right quite a simple thing so you just draw a line here name it as a and this one as a b and a is a 8 comma minus 3 and b is a 0 comma 9 it has to be x1 comma y1 and this has to be x2 comma y2 all right the distance ab is equal to under root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so that is equal to under root 0 minus 8 whole square you can see the uh, calculation here i mean numbers 0 minus 8 whole square plus then it is 9 minus of minus 3 whole square so you can write it as 9 minus of minus 3 whole square all right i hope it is clear then it becomes under root 0 minus 8 is minus 8 minus 8 whole square plus 9 plus 3 whole square so it becomes under root minus 8 whole square is 64 plus 9 plus 3 is 12, 12 square. All right. So it becomes under root 64 plus 144. So how much it becomes? It becomes under root 4 plus 4 is 8. Then 6 plus 4 is 10 and 1 is a carry and it becomes 208. Now you can factorize this 208. It becomes 2 1s, 0 4s then 2 5s, then 2 2s, then 2 26 then 2 13 then 13 1s. You can uh, write it as uh, 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 13. Now under square root, 2 times it is there means you can take it out. 
and two times again it is there means take it out then under root 13 so it becomes what a four under root 13 units so this is the distance between the given points four under root 13 units all right fine then i hope all the calculations are uh, quite clear to you make it sure that you are watching uh, all these videos because you will get a lot of practice and you will understand what is the nature of the questions i am uh, using the word again and again that word is the nature of questions okay because if you understand the nature of questions definitely you can expect them in the question paper and you are going to score out of four marks all right then um, thank you very much have a good day and bye bye